Give me the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you Hey guys, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy and today I'm doing a pick a card all about who is obsessed with you. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what is up? How are you? It's always good to connect with your energy and I truly appreciate you guys being here. Now keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's a general session. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private readings and sessions. All that information is down in my description box below, along with all the links to my social media. So before you, you see three piles of cards. Each one has a little stuffy on top. These are gonna be your psychic linking objects. I will be pulling more cards as I need to for clarity. And at the end of each session, I'm gonna get charms, letters, and initials. So we're gonna find out the initials of who is obsessed with you. So they may show up in that charm letter initial reading. So, all right guys, so I'm gonna show you each group stuffy close up so you guys can get a better feel of each group. Group one, you are this very cute cupcake. Group two, you are this really sweet little donut. So cute. Group three, you are this adorable shake. Its straw is kind of crooked as you see, but we embrace our imperfections, right? Okay guys, so those are your three selections. I will insert a little video with some music so you guys who need more time can kind of chill out and see which group you're drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one group, there's probably more than one message here for you. And with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures on the other side. Bye guys. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose it fits Some loose shit, a stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift Oh! I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each new update, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Yo, so do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor I've got my own issues, I need a comb to get through Don't need to groan with you, just go get your own tissue I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign That's it, the 
end of the song Next time you'll sing along Trust me, there's nothing wrong I just need to carry on Cause society's a myth Put there to make you sit Listen to what they give Don't ask questions, shut your lid Yeah, don't ask questions, shut your lid I need to run away from this And go get off the grid Feel like my brain is overloaded Man, I'm losing it Don't let them tell you what to do, man They don't know shit Hey group one, all of you that selected this super cute cupcake, this is going to be your reading all about who is obsessed with you. Now be sure to stay to the end because I'm going to get letters, initials, and charms. So we're going to find out possibly the initials of who is uh, obsessed with you. I was going to say jealous, so interesting. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, so just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. Okay, so let's get into the cards and see what came out. Okay, we have Storyteller. We have Priest. Okay, I'm feeling different energies here, so take what resonates. Okay, so we may have a couple of different stories presenting. They may all resonate. One may resonate, the other one may not. Just take what re resonates here. We have trickster. <laughs> okay, so priest and trickster seem to be very different energies. So let's keep going here. We have skunk spirit, know your worth. Well spirit, trust the great mystery. Okay. And we have cow spirit, the miracles are endless. That seems to go with the priest energy. Okay, so we may have two or three energies here presenting. So one of these may be yours. It may be a combination. Again, just take what resonates here because I feel like some of these energies intermix. So we'll see. All right, let's not get the tarot yet. I did get a lot of tarot for this particular group, so that will be interesting. We have ghost phone. Okay, phone call, text, email. Okay, so I feel like this is someone um, who you may have talked to by text or phone or email, okay? For some of you, that will resonate. Or it's somebody who wants to reach out by phone, text, or email. So, uh, yeah, we have Crypt Keeper, not letting go, someone, something. Someone is clinging to your energy and obsessed. We have Vortex, unhappy home or place. Okay. Feels like trickster energy there. Um, yeah, they're not letting go. We have karaoke night, singing, dancing, music, playing. All right. Okay, so I feel like for all of these energies, this phone, text, email feels appropriate. All right, let's get into these tarot cards and see what we got here. Um, Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles. I'm feeling in reverse. This feels like trickster energy. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse, and we have the Two of Wands in reverse. Okay, uh, we have the temp Temperance in reverse. We have the Three of Cups, and we have the Chariot in reverse. Okay, and then we have, this is so weird. Okay, <laughs> I didn't pull it like this, but this is kind of how it happens. Then we have the Fool in reverse, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse, and we have the Knight of Cups. All right, okay, so I'm feeling several different things, several different stories here. Um, but we're just going to try to keep it in these three kind of kind of storylines, I guess, uh, these three streams of consciousness. Okay, so I feel like with the storyteller here, we have someone um, that you've had some kind of, um, you have some kind of relationship with. Okay, it could be friendship, uh, it could be romantic, it could be family. Um, you have had some good times with this person, okay? Um, but something went terribly wrong in this relationship, okay? Something went left, 
and this could have had this could have had to do with their big mouth <laughs> you see their big mouth open uh i feel like they probably started talking about you i feel like this is gossip okay um and i feel like there's something here i'm feeling like a um event a get together where I feel like you got wind of this or you felt like this was going on and your intuition was kicking up and ever since then things have been weird uh, and you're wondering if this person, if this is real, like your impressions are real. This is your validation that they are. Now you may have confronted the storyteller who feels like a liar, by the way, um, about this and they may have acted like this. What? That's a great big mystery, y'all call Scooby-Doo. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I would never talk about you. I would never say shit about you. But the truth is, honey, this bitch is obsessed with you, okay? There's something uh, going on with your energy. There's something going on um, with you that has really activated this person, okay? Um, it feels like jealousy with the chariot and temperance in reverse uh, and the three of cups. Like I'm picking up on, I feel like maybe you're better with like you're a people person and you're better with people than, than um, they are, or they feel like you feel like you're better than people. Like you have an uppity attitude or you're snobby. Um, and I, I feel like the truth is here is you just have a feeling about people. And I think you have a feeling about this person. And they, they can feel it. Like they know that you're on to them. It's, it's a very weird situation to, to try to explain. But if you know it, then, honey, you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So what I'm getting here, it, it's like it's a situation that happened that you have a feeling about and you feel... You feel a kind of way. You feel betrayed. You feel like you've been stabbed in the back, but you're unsure, like you're unsure. And this person feels like they don't quite know that you know either, okay? So, and I feel like if you mention this to them and tried to get, you know, tried to get them to kind of tell on themselves is what I'm getting. Um, and they acted like, what? what's, it's a big mystery. I have no idea what you're talking about, you know? Um, it's time for you to walk away, like, for a while, so you can get clarity. That's what I'm getting. Like, it's time for you to kind of, like, see this chariot card. You need to turn it right side up and kind of get into the car and, and move along, okay? Um, and it doesn't mean never talk to them again. It just means I feel like you need space from this person. Okay. I'm not saying to, like, leave this person forever, or go no contact forever. But I just feel like space from this person is going to give you clarity. The clarity that you need about the situation. Okay, I'm going to get a couple more cards here. Yeah, we have the five of swords in reverse. I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. That's what I'm getting. Like denial, denial, denial. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. And then we have the five of cups. So 55 is a number of change. Okay. So there's a change in this relationship coming. If you confront this person, they're going to deny it. Okay. So you may just, I'm seeing like a mouse running in a wheel. You may just be going in circles if you confront this person anymore. So it might be best just to get some some distance so that you can turn around and see the cups you have left. You know, it, this happens sometimes in life. Just, it's a learning, it's a learning situation. Um, and I feel like they're obsessed with you because I'm feeling competition here. Like in some way they see you as competition. And... It's hard to be friends with someone or close to a sibling or whatever this is um, if they see you as competition all the time. If, if it's competition over every single thing, how can you ever connect on any real level, right? Okay, so ooh, I'm going to do some more cards on this one, I think. Uh, we have the priest here. The miracles are endless. We have Crypt Keeper, Not Letting Go, Someone, Something. Okay, for some of you, you this, this is an ex, okay? This may be someone that you were talking to online, but it still feels like some kind of ex, a potential person that you decided 
they weren't your person or it could have been a long term. I'm getting several different like energies here. Okay. Um, and I feel like, yeah, I just feel like you leaped and then you, you turned, you turned around and got back on that road again. It's like you leaped and got on the road and you were like, oh, oh, you know what? I changed my mind. Okay. So there was something that you changed your mind about, but this person hasn't let go of you. Okay. They haven't let go. Uh, this could be romantic. It could be a friend or something like that, but you just changed your mind about it and you didn't feel like uh, it was the right fit. Okay. But this person still is holding a cup for you. They still want to connect with you. They, they still see you as like a wish fulfillment. They're not able to let you go. Okay. I'm going to pull some more cards for you. And I, I want to pull from this this deck right here. Sorry, I'm having to get a different deck. Okay. Tell me more about this. Oh, okay. We have long distance travel and space. Okay. So for some of you guys, it might be the, it might be the distance thing, um, or they're feeling the distance or they're trying to give you distance and you think that they've moved on, but they really haven't. Okay. They haven't moved on from you. All right. Okay. Give me more information for my priest here. Okay, we have remembrance, memories, and nostalgia. Yeah, they spend a lot of time thinking about your conversations or the times you spent together. Um, tell me about this cup. We want to know about this cup. This person who's obsessed with my group one. I want to call you 1B. <laughs> All right, tell me about it. This little cute cupcake has a lot of people obsessed or just one of these. Take what resonates. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Tell me about this cup here. Tell me about this cup. This one. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, they want a new beginning. They want to try again. It could be friendship. It could be love. It doesn't feel like business, um, but they want, they want to try again. They believe in miracles, y'all. They believe in miracles, okay? And um, even though there's distance here that may be long distance or there may be some kind of block here, they think you can overcome it together. And I feel like you were just like, you got down the road, you know, there's a lot of energy. It's almost like it burnt out, like the car stalled on the road and you were like, up, oh, no, bitch, I'm going back. I changed my mind. It's like something happened, something, there was a misfire here. And this person feels like you didn't get a good feel of them, even though for some of you, this feels like it was long term. They just feel like there was a misfire, a misunderstanding, and they would like another opportunity. Some of them feel like they earned the opportunity, okay? And they're obsessed with making this miracle happen. Now, for some of you, they're trying to manifest you, like law of attraction. For some of you, there's like spell work involved, okay? For others, they're just like, they're giving you space right now, but they're going to show back up. For some of you, it's, I'm sorry, next Mercury retrograde or the one after, Okay. So, hey, you know, I'm sorry. If it happens, it happens. You know, just ignore them or don't answer them if you feel guided. You know, if this is somebody you would entertain again and maybe get back on the road, I encourage you when anyone tries to re-enter your life during Mercury retrograde, especially, okay, think about why you're not, why did you, why did you get off that road? <laughs> why did you say, eh, uh-uh, no thank you. Why did you do that? Okay, you need to revisit that before you answer that text, before you pick up the phone. Remember, remember where you were coming from. Either way you go, whether you answer it or you don't, know where you were right before you ended it so you remember where you're picking up from. Okay? Now, group 1C. <laughs> Trickster. Okay. So I feel like this person who is obsessed with you uh, was really hard on you. Know your, know your worth. Okay. I think this person um, really made you feel bad about yourself. Okay. Um, unhappy home or place. This could be a relative. It could be someone you shared a home with. It could be an ex. Um, it could be a roommate, family, um, but they really made you feel bad about yourself. We have two of wands in reverse. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Um, this person was a taker. Um, they were not good to you. I think that you were probably really good to them. 
okay, and they were just not capable of being good to you. I'm going to pull clarifying from the Tinseltown Tarot. Um, they just could not give to you. Okay, this could be a parent-child relationship, could be a sibling relationship. Um, but I feel like there was a lot of misunderstandings here. There can be some yelling and trauma. But I feel like it was a very unhappy situation. And they're obsessed. They're, this may be a no-contact situation as well. Uh, but this person is obsessed, okay? And um, for some of you, they have... Um, you know, they've casted, you know, that won't be, be for all of you. Just take what resonates here, okay? That's for specific people. Oh, uh, we have the, um, the Hierophant, okay? And we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so again, unhappy. This could be an ex, like in a marriage or um, I feel like marriage or family, okay? There was a sharing of house or family situation or a friend or a roommate. Something about a living situation here that went went south. And I feel like um, it's probably left you in kind of a bad situation as far as living conditions, um, perhaps financially. And this person who is obsessed with you, I feel like they have a lot of negative vibes coming towards you. Like if they haven't casted, um, I feel like they sit around and hate on you and think about um, like it's it's really negative. This obsession is like a negative obsession. I think they think about reaching out to you by email, text, or phone. Um, and if you receive something from them, I need you to be careful. I need you to be careful of any correspondence, especially manipulative correspondence that could be um, positive. And if they seem overly interested in your life, they're trying to find out what's going on with you. Be very careful and keep your boundaries with this person, okay? They are the same person that you had the unhappy home with. They have not changed, okay? But you have. And I feel like you're putting out a really powerful energy that may attract this person. And you may have to deal with this person because of children or a family situation or what have you. So it's really important that you put up healthy boundaries for yourself, okay? Because this person is obsessed and it's not necessarily like not necessarily like group two where we're obsessed with getting back together. I almost feel like this person's obsessed with like seeing your ruin, like watching things go poorly for you. Um, it's really pathetic, okay? And if you're wondering if you did the right thing by like getting away from this person, yes, you did. This is your validation. Spirit is very proud of you. I know that some of you guys are really going through some difficulty right now. There's always an adjustment with when this kind of stuff happens. Hang in there. Don't give up, okay? Things are going to turn around for you. This takes time because you're breaking... For a lot of you guys, you're breaking like generational bonds. You're breaking like generational curses. I'm feeling like people who are tied together, who are breaking these ties, these chains. I'm seeing like chains being broken, okay? Bonds being broken. And it's very difficult and it can be very painful. So give yourself some grace and be kind to yourself, okay? All right, let's get you guys some letters, initials, and some charms. Okay, group one, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Now, these could be your initials, their initials, a screen name, the initials of a screen name, a last name, a place you work, something meaningful. Just take what resonates here. Okay, I'm going to read these off for you. We have W-M-E-A-D-R-V-O-C-U-H-E-L-C-I-N-Z-Q-M-S-Y-B. T-J-L-K-A-R-N-D-O-E-S. Um, now I've got see ya here. So some of you guys like don't talk to this person. I think probably group two, um, maybe group three, you don't have a lot of contact. Um, all of them really, there may be, some of you guys may have no contact. So I'm feeling like it's different for different people. So just take what resonates here. Um, but there's definitely like hard feelings for sure. Um, Okay, so you didn't get a lot of charms. We have the devil, Santa Claus, we have a turtle, we have a golden star, and we have this charm that says, may you always have a shell in your pocket and sand between your toes. So uh, stay grounded, 
okay? I feel like your angels, your guides, whatever you work with, uh, are coming in to remind you to stay grounded, okay? Stay focused on what it is you're trying to do. Um, and I feel like with this golden star here, I feel like you have this magnetic energy that sometimes makes people a little obsessive. You guys may have struggled with some stalker energy, okay, with the devil here. Um, you may struggle with people who are clingy and don't know when to let go. So you ha may have started a pattern where you kind of like cut people off, but you do it because you're trying to like cut the energy so they don't linger because people have a tendency to probably cling with you a little bit. Um, and I feel like you're also, this is kind of like a side message with this turtle here, but there's something on the way to you. Okay, but it's going to be very, it's been very slow going. Um, it's very stable. Okay, and it's foundational. It's something you can count on and it's building. All right, but uh, you need to be patient is what I'm getting. I'm getting like Santa Claus here and being patient, waiting for Santa, right? Um, you've earned this. It's a gift. I'm getting like Christmas time vibes. It's a gift coming to you. Um, and just keep doing what you're doing. All right. And I feel like group one, there's like a side message for some of you that like some of you need to get used to having people like have this energy about you. All right. Um, and some of you guys have been dealing it for dealing with it for a while. And for some of you, it's a new thing. So just take what resonates here. Okay. All right, group one, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys. Hey, group two, all of you that were drawn to this cute little donut. This is going to be your reading all about who is obsessed with you. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's a general session. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. I will be getting letters, initials, and charms at the end of the reading. So we'll find out some initials of possibly who is obsessed with you. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, we have detective. Oh, Oh, okay. <laughs> Is someone spying on you? <laughs> uh, we have Prince. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. We have Electric Eel Spirit. Bring your ideas to life. Okay. Let's see. We have Beware, Beware Spirit. It's Beaver Spirit. Lay a solid foundation. Okay. So far, this person feels very, like, grounded, okay? But detective feels very Scorpio watery. And then we have the eel as well. So I'm feeling earth and water. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. All right, let's get these messages here. We have, whenever you feel lonely, just close your eyes and say, divine source is with me, okay? I feel like they close their eyes and think about being with you. Like this, you guys, I'm sorry, but this feels romantic, okay? This feels like somebody who's obsessed with you, who's romantically interested in you. The time has come to get everything your ancestors were denied, okay? I feel like that's your energy. Like you're working on making moves, uh, making things happen. You may not feel like it, but you are. Uh, your ancestors are supporting you. Um, I feel like this person could also feel like their ancestors are supporting you guys in union as well. Uh, we have angel number 555. This challenging phase in your life is about to pass. Yeah, this person's been through a lot. There's been a lot of challenges. There's been a lot of issues. We have sometimes the solution is easier than we think. Okay. Um, sometimes this person makes things more difficult than they need to be. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get into the tarot and see what we have. We have Judgment. We have the Hermit. Okay. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. The Hermit's in reverse, obviously. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. We have the Sun. And we have the Tower in reverse. So I feel like these reversals are really about... Um, this person's already gone through something like it, it it's an ending of a major cycle 
okay? Um, I feel like there's an ending of lack in their lives. Like they're at a place where they're just like sick of not having um, someone or relationships that are emotionally fulfilling. They're also sick of being alone. Uh, this is someone who probably during the pandemic felt very alone or that thing that happened. I'm not sure, supposed to use that word, I guess, on um, social media. But anyway, um, and I feel like there is, um, there's been struggles financially. Uh, for some of them, there may have been an ending of a major relationship um, here where they did not feel, they felt alone even in the relationship. Okay. They felt alone. Um, and it's taken a lot for them to get away from this person or this situation. Um, this could also be family relationships that they have worked through. And, um, yeah, I feel like this person is tired of feeling like they're on the outside, uh, looking in kind of thing. I also feel frustration with the judgment and the sun here with all these reversals. I feel like they're tired of watching you. I feel like for some of you, they're watching from afar. There may be distance here. Uh, maybe you guys do talk, but there is some kind of distance here. There's some kind of inability to be the prince and come in on the white horse kind of thing. There's an inability to be able to make that connection. Um, Maybe you're with someone else. Maybe there's still baggage here. It feels like there's a lot of maybes in this particular situation. So um, clarify this frustration for me. Let's clarify the frustration. Before we go on to the lovey-dovey stuff, okay, group two, it's a lovey-dovey kind of thing. I'm feeling this obsessive person. Um, yeah, and this person, if you have social media, they're all over it, honey. They're all over your social media. I don't care if they don't leave you a message or leave you a like. They are all over your social media. Okay, we have the five of ones. We have two fives in reverse. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they just, they can't build this thing they want to build with you. They can't seem to make it happen. And they're frustrated. Because there's some element within them that feels like you want this too. So maybe you know this person, and maybe this is somebody, it feels like there's somebody that there's, for some of you, there's already some kind of connection here, but there's some kind of blocking mechanism that could be emotional. We have the page of pentacles here. It's almost like you guys just can't seem to get it started. You can't seem to make the connection, like, really take off. But this person is really obsessed with your energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So there may be financial issues here. There may be family issues. It may be something that's kind of, like, out of your control that is affecting the ability to get together. Um, I don't feel like it's forever, okay? Um, it could be emotional damage. This could be stuff that's being healed right now. Um, I think it's really important that you guys are uh, patient. Okay, patient. You have the sun here. So it's a very positive thing um, if you're down with this person. If you're not down with the person, then, of course, it can be uncomfortable. So if you have this person obsessed with you and you talk to them, but you don't feel that way for them, then, of course, this is going to make you really probably very uncomfortable. So take what resonates here. I'm going to pull three cards uh, from the Cupid's Desire deck. We have drained, nothing left, falling asleep. And we have pinned, holding hands down. Holding hands down. Okay, I get it. Holding hands down. Holding hands down are two different things. So, okay, we have dirty talk, phone sex, tell me. Okay, maybe you guys have had some sexting or phone sex or you have photos or something like that. That won't be for all of you, okay? So you may have had some kind of like hookup situation going on. Um, and there may be some romantic feelings. But I think for some of you, the emotions the emotional connection hasn't been there yet. It's almost like this is blocked for some of you. Uh, it could be that you're not feeling it, they're not feeling it, or it could just be simply the distance. And I feel like this person who is obsessed with you, um, 
this may be one of you not feeling the emotion or the other. It just depends. And this may be someone who this hasn't happened yet. You haven't had the dirty talk. You haven't had this connection. But this person wants this. And they think that if they could make this happen, that you guys would, would be drained and fall asleep together. Because <laughs> this is somebody who thinks about you a lot. And yeah, if you've had pictures online, like this person's definitely downloaded them and, you know, what can I say? <laughs> I'm not going to say. You guys figure that out. Okay. So tell me more about this obsessed person. I think this person has feelings for you. I just don't think they know how to express it. Okay. They're not good with emotion. Show me, challenge, prove it. Okay. And I think this is your energy. I think you're like, if you care about me, then show me. Like, put up or shut up. I'm sick of this. Some of you, this will resonate, and some of you guys, it won't. But those of you who are in this situation, I feel like you're at this point where you're like, if you care about me, then you need to show me. Otherwise, I don't have time for this. And for some of you, this obsessed person wants the opportunity to prove it to you that they want to be your person, okay? Because for some of them, they think that you're destined to be together, you guys, like together, okay? Let's get a couple more of these cards here. Tell me more about this obsessed person. It's definitely romantic though. Group two, you are definitely uh, a romantic connection. And they have like, they're superly, they're superly, <laughs> they're super intensely attracted to you. Okay, and we have unavailable emotionally, physically. See, that's, that's it. Uh, there's either physical distance or there's emotional distance here. And it could be that you're not interested as well. And this is somebody you've talked to and you, you want to be friends, but they're not down with that. And that's the issue. Or there is physical distance. There's emotional distance. But this person, whoever, however that resonates, they are absolutely obsessed with you. I feel like they're crazy about you. Okay. Um, they want to be closer to you. They feel like you're their person. But there's a lot of reversed cards here. There's a lot of blocking energy. It doesn't mean it can't be overcome. Hey, every relationship has blocks and things to overcome. There's no perfect relationship. They don't exist. Okay, we have exhausted, no energy, feeling defeated. Okay, so, you know, I feel like both of you need to give yourself some grace. Um, the obsessed person, I feel like... Um, they are feeling tired, okay, because they've been through a lot. You may be marrying each other, um, but they're very focused on you, and they're going through their own thing right now. Uh, and you may know about this if you know who this is, okay? Um, and I feel like if you will just give each other space, if you're interested in this person, just give each other space and don't, don't make it real deep right now. Your relationship doesn't have to be super deep all the time. Sometimes if you lighten the energy up, things have a tendency to kind of resolve. Um, it doesn't mean that you don't go back to it when you're both at a better place, okay? Um, but I feel like it's really important that you take care of yourself and you rest. You may be feeling really drained as well. And it makes it hard for you to work on these deeper issues when you're, you know, when you're tired and drained, right? Okay, let's get one more card here. We have Package, the Naughty Gift. They got something for you, honey. They have something for you, though, that might help with your exhaustion. <laughs> oh, you guys, I better stop. I better stop. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to get you guys some initials, letters, and charms. All right. Hey, group two, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Now, keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates. These could be your initials, their initials, a word, a name, something meaningful. Just take what resonates. So, we have M-D-C-H-I-G-Q-A-E-S-Z-Y-E-T-R-P-E-W-U-F-L-C-N-F-K-T. Okay, so we have quite a few charms here. Yeah, I feel like with this uh, blue shell, that also, that always feels like the throat chakra for me. And I feel like there are, there are things that need to be said. Okay, um, 
I feel that emotional block for some of you guys. Um, yeah, and I feel like with the witch's broom, this always feels like a witch's broom to me. Um, I feel like there's some clearing of energy. I feel like you're healing. Uh, the person could be healing too, but there's definitely healing energy around you and you need to hold space for you to be able to heal. Okay, um, I feel a glow up here that's happening for group two. Um, some changes in your energy, some energetic shifts that are happening. Um, and I'm just encouraging you guys to like keep going. Don't give up. Um, I know you might be frustrated if, if you know this person and you're in a relationship with them um, or trying to form some kind of relationship. Uh, you might be frustrated because you may be finding that you're not able to open up. And I'm just going to encourage you to be um, be compassionate to yourself. I feel like you've been through a lot. This person's been through a lot too, uh, and they may be reluctant as well. So, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, it doesn't have to happen overnight. You know, let things progress naturally um, as well because I feel like both of you may be dealing with ghosts from the past. I feel like there is ancestor energy around you um, helping you heal. You know, this may not be your person and you just need clarity that this isn't your person. For some of you guys, this may be your person and you're struggling with that. You're struggling with how they've come in or who they are or you feel like you're not ready or there may be some issues of not feeling like you deserve of this person there's a lot of angelic energy around you we have two cats here um, and I'm just feeling like these cats are it's almost like you're being watched over uh, by these cats so I feel like some of you guys may have some cats or or something like that but I feel like it's guardian energy I feel like you have uh, spirits or ancestors some of you guys have passed over loved ones that are watching over you uh, some of you have like cat guardians that's not going to resonate for all of you but just just take what resonates there okay I, I get what i get and that's what it is um but this person is very focused on you with this um with this star here um i'm feeling leo energy fire energy uh that sagittarius and aries as well i'm feeling scorpio with the skull here uh we have um also feeling Pisces as well. There's some air energy, Libra, Aquarius um, as well. So that's what I got for you, group two. I hope this resonated. If it did, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys. Hey group three, all of you that were drawn to this cute little shake stuffy, this is going to be your reading all about who is obsessed with you. Now keep in mind it's a general reading so just take what resonates. Stay tuned to the end because I'm going to get initials, letters, and charms and we're going to find out more information about who is obsessed with you. All right. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have Destroyer. Uh, that's come out first. So uh, interesting. We have Alchemist. Okay. We have Messiah. All right. We have Child Divine. Okay. This is pretty interesting energy. Who is obsessed with my group three? Okay. We have Groundhog. Solo time is required for you at this time. You are recognizing that you only need you and your path is to grow. Okay, we have cat. You exude divine feminine power and psychic gifts that are untouchable to muggle to muggles. Embrace the divine within you. Okay, someone is really feeling you and feels threatened. I, I'm getting this. I feel threatened energy. Black widow. Damn, they fucked around and caught feelings for you. Now they don't want to be without you. Okay, interesting. Uh, we have koala. Someone is cute and talks a good game but they just want sex watch out they might have an std <laughs> i mean it's not funny to have an std but i always left that card because it's like it's like watch out this person they have more gifts than what you think they do okay so we have uh she's got it all together needs no one independent queen we have married souls twin flames couple of energies here we have the answer is no okay and we have codependency and addictions okay all right so i'm getting a couple of things here um 
I feel like we have someone who's like a jealous hater who's obsessed with you. And then we have someone who thinks they're in love with you. Okay, so one of those might resonate or both of them or a combination. So just take what resonates here. Use your discernment. Okay, um, I feel like someone here thinks that you're their twin. I'm not saying they are. Okay, I'm just saying they think so. Okay, um, this could be someone who you've hooked up with. Okay, for some of you, this is someone you've hooked up with. Now, be careful because I'm feeling like they could have codependent issues. Okay, I feel they're the destroyer energy. Okay, uh, the spider, the koala, feels like their energy here. Um, I feel this person's very troubled. They're very self-destructive. They're destructive in relationships. Uh, they really don't know what love is about. Uh, they haven't learned enough about love because they've never really opened their heart up to love. Uh, but they feel it with you or they feel what they think is love. Okay. But the truth is, is that they, they don't know. All right. Um, I feel like you are just standing in your power. This child divine energy feels like you. Okay. Now, I will say there's someone here with a God complex. All right. So this is, this is your energy. And then we have this other energy over here. This person feels like uh, they have a God complex. And they look down upon you. They think they have all their shit together. This is someone who thinks they're better than other people. They judge you for the things they see you do or hear about you doing. Okay. Let's take a look at the tarot that's come out. Um, I want to pull on um, this destroyer energy. So I'm just going to pull a couple cards from what I've already drawn and see where we go. Okay. We have the three of pumpkins in reverse we have the page of potions. This could be someone at work that you've dated, um, but it also could be someone who, um, an ex, or you've had some kind of connection with. We have the three of pentacles in reverse, three of pumpkins in reverse. It speaks to me of like you've had some kind of contact with them, somebody you've hooked up with, either online. You can hook up online as possible. Um, and for some of you, you guys are worried about that those pictures or whatever, uh, don't be worried. Okay. Don't be worried. Don't be worried about that shit. All right. Um, I feel like this person is trying to work on their shit. Okay. With the three of pentacles in reverse and the page of potions, but they do have some codependency and addiction issues going on. Okay. I feel like you are wise to stay clear of this person. I feel like they're in a very destructive energy um, and you are becoming their hyper focus. And I think it's on the down low. You may not realize it. You may have walked away from this person or there may be distance. You may not really talk to this person anymore. If you have to work with them or see them, you guys may not really, you may pass and repass kind of thing. Even if it's online, if you're in groups together or whatnot, you may pass and repass. Um, but this person still thinks you're, they're, they're like their twin or soulmate. They're still clinging to the energy. They can't let it go. And yes, they still look at those that stuff. Okay. Um, but I feel like this person is extremely toxic and, um, you really did do the right thing by walking away from this person. I'm actually going to pull uh, clarifying cards. Clarify this connection for me, please clarify this connection. Okay. We have a bunch of stuff that came out in reverse. We have the queen of pumpkins in reverse. Okay. This is not this queen of candles in reverse. Yeah. This is not a good page of candles in reverse. Yeah. This is not a good connection. Okay. Um, and for some of you, it's good to stay clear of this person because this person gives me creepy vibes. Okay, I'm starting to get creepy vibes from this person. So if you get creepy vibes from this person, you know, don't be alone with them. All right. If, especially, I feel like some of you guys may have to work with this person. Don't be alone with them. If you can avoid it, you know, if something weird happens, tell somebody. Okay. For some of you guys, this might be a neighbor or uh, someone you have to deal with. Okay. So just keep an eye on this person. All right. Uh, let's clarify um, the alchemist. Messiah energy. 
I feel like this is a royal bitch. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They cannot get shit to happen. Okay, this person is frustrated as fuck, and they see shit happening for you. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is stalled out. We have the Four of Candles. They're very unhappy. This is a very miserable person. We have the Ten of Potions. Okay, so I feel like this is somebody who you've probably had some kind of emotional connection with. This could be a friend, um, an ex-friend, um, this could be a family member, like a sister. I don't necessarily feel like this is like an ex-partner, okay? It feels more like this is a friend, someone who is now jealous of where you're getting. Because I feel like the Ten of Cups is you. If you don't have the Ten of Cups, they think you do. You appear happy, okay? This person's very negative. They're like, no, no, not for them. That's for me, not for them. They don't deserve that shit. I deserve that shit. Uh, this is someone who just, they're a classist to a degree, even though it's weird because I feel like this person really isn't of any particular class. You know what I'm saying? They're not like mega class or anything, but for some reason they have a superiority complex. Um, and I feel like they see you doing your thing and listen, I'm not saying that you got it all together. All right. I am not saying that. This is someone's impression of you. And impressions of us can be very different from reality. That's why it's really important to always keep that in mind. Because people have pictures of us in their head and in their heart that aren't real. Okay, people, we, we put masks on people sometimes. And I feel like that's what's happened here. Okay, um, and I feel like this is someone with the uh, four of candles in reverse. I'm feeling like, which is the four of wands in reverse. I feel like this is someone who you may have had holidays with or had uh, celebrations with. It feels like family or friend, very close friend, okay? Um, for some of you, this could be a client as well who had a very, you had a very good connection with, but all of a sudden um, they're jealous. They're jealous of your connections with other people. There's a lot of jealousy here and negativity. And what I'm seeing here and what I'm feeling here is this person has a God complex. They just think they're better than everyone else. And how fucking dare you? And we have a uh, suspension here, which is like the hangman only. I'm feeling this energy of like, first of all, I feel this energy of like, they're stalled out. I also feel energy of like, they feel caged. It's almost like you doing well or appearing like you're doing well, or you being happy and not depressed and not struggling makes them feel like they're not good enough or they're not doing enough or they're just not enough, okay? And it's a really weird thing to feel psychically, I have to say, because even though they have this God complex, they also have this inner thing. They're masking. That's what it is. The whole God complex, the whole, you know, I'm this, I'm that, I'm a baddie, I'm all this, you know, it really is fake. And the truth is they don't feel they're good enough. They have a very low self-esteem. Um, they tend to throw themselves at people. They tend to uh, do things for attention uh, because they their heart chakra, I'm feeling like a void in their heart chakra and their root chakra. This person is not foundationally balanced. They have, haven't had a lot of compassion and care in their life. And they're very jealous because it feels like to them, you're getting all the things that they want. You may not be, it may all be in their head, okay, honey? Because I feel like this person here may have a little bit of delusions going on, just, just a tad bit, okay? And it's very important to remind you that you can't argue with someone who's lost in delusions, okay? This person has a lot of, of stuff going on, okay? And right now they're obsessed with you. Yes, they look you up. Yes, they read old messages. Yes, they follow you online. Uh, they try to get information about you. This has been going on for a while. For some of you, you know about this person and this has been going on for a long time. And remember, love, like platonic love, romantic love, all of that can very quickly turn into hate with some people. And I feel like it's like something switched and they were like, oh no, 
Oh no, I don't think so. Um, and I honestly, I want to pull on your energy, which I didn't for the others, but I just feel like for you, I want to, because I feel like you have this child divine energy and we have, um, bold solo time is required for you at this time. You are recognizing that you only need you and your path to grow. Cat, you exude divine feminine power and psychic gifts that are untouchable to muggles. Embrace the divine within you. And we have divine child. Innocence, purity, redemption suggests a connection with the divine. And I, I feel like you are aligning with like your life's journey where the universe really wants you to go. And I feel like there's a bigger message here. Spirit, what is the message from my group three? What is this message? We have the obsessive energy here, but what are you wanting to say, ancestors and guides? What are you wanting to tell them? What are you wanting to tell them? This one, this one, this one. Celebration is on the way. <laughs> oh, why? Right. You're going to have a reason to celebrate, okay? Uh, we have angel number 777. You're about to reap the fruits of your labor. Something good is waiting for you. Okay, something good is coming. All right. With all this crazy energy, something good is coming. Okay. Uh, and we have passion turns into paycheck. Some of you guys are about to start making some money. Okay, there's, I feel like for some of you, there's money, resources, there's something coming. Your ancestors want you to know because some of you guys are feeling like, you know, I've been doing the damn thing and I haven't been getting shit. And personally, I've had enough. Like, when is this going to pay off? And I, I have to remind you, your spirits are saying, divine timing is a very real thing. It's very real. And it really is about you and where you are in your journey. Okay, I'm going to pull three more cards on this. Tell me more about this passion turns into paychecks. I'm being told no reversals. I'm taking no reversals on this part of the reading. Okay, passion turns into paychecks. A reason to celebrate. Tell me about this reason to celebrate. Okay, something, we have the four of cups here. Something's coming out of the blue, you guys. While you're busy doing something, you are not going to expect this. So if you start expecting something, it's not coming, okay, literally. Like, I know I've just told you about this, so it's probably not coming tomorrow. It's going to be coming when you're busy. It's going to be coming when you're busy. Death, okay. I feel like there's a transformation going on in your life or you're about to enter the cycle of transformation. It's going to be very powerful and it's really going to help you harness your ability to pull in resources and money. I feel like you're going to get more ideas about how to maneuver to make more money. Uh, be open to new opportunities to make money. Be open. Some of you guys need to start that business. You need to ramp up the business. You need to put yourself out there. You need to get your shit together, okay? Because your ancestors, I see your ancestors around here. I'm seeing them stack money. I'm seeing vaults open, vaults of money open, okay? So you guys, go get it. Go get that money. I'm hearing ancestors say, go get that money. Go get that money. And we have the six of pentacles. Okay. There is tons of healing energy here. Okay. I'm a, I have to pull some more, you guys. This is just too good. It's like this whole reading was created just for you to get this message. Okay. Sometimes that happens. Every now and then that happens. Okay. We have the eight of cups. Yeah, I'm feeling like you're moving on to something a wonderful, amazing. You're going to be really busy and probably dealing with some other stuff when this comes in. Okay, let's get one more. And we have the Six of Wands. Do, do, do. This is the victory card. Boop, 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 boop. There is victory coming from my group three. Okay, there is some kind of victory in in money and career that's coming for you. It's manifesting and they want you to know it's going to come out of nowhere. Okay. So when you least expect it, expect it, okay? So let's get you some letters, some initials, and some charms talking all about your uh, person who is obsessed with you. Let's find out their initials. Hang on just a second. Hey, group three, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, it's general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These could be your initials, their initials, a name, a word, something meaningful. Just take what resonates here. We have C-L-I-W-N-U-A-B-U-Q-G-Y-M-T-S-J-M-M-E-K-A-T-O-D-C-L-Y-F-T. B. We have cat here that could be a nickname, gem, uh, like 
working out at a, at a gym, that could be uh, meaningful as well. So we have several charms. We have the, um, the seashell. I feel like they talk to people about you. Uh, they definitely talk to their friends or someone about you. They may, they may be gossiping about you as well. Um, but it's like you're something they have to talk about. Like they have to talk about you. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like you're turning the wheel. The wheel is turning in your favor is what I'm hearing. We have, uh, may you always have a shell in your pocket and sand between your toes. Stay grounded and continue to practice self-care, okay? Continue to take care of yourself, okay? Uh, we have a star. We have another star. You guys are exuding some kind of like magnetic star-like energy. You're... Um, attractive energy, like attraction. There's a lot of really good vibes coming your way. I feel like within the next like three to six months, you're going to see some kind of movement here that's going to be very positive and very powerful. We have the skull and crossbones. I feel like your ancestors are standing by you as you go through this transformation. For some of you, this is like a dark night of the soul um, where you may be in right now, but I feel like within like three to six months, you're going to see yourself transform and you're going to be feeling very differently about your life. Um, in a very short time, three to six months really isn't that long. Some of you guys may be like, it might as well be three to six years. Well, I understand that, especially when you're hurting. But with the amount of stuff that you've been through and the weight I'm feeling on your shoulders, it really isn't that long. You need to give yourself some grace and be kind to yourself, right? This isn't, you can't race through this kind of stuff, okay? You have to take whatever time you need to work through it, okay? You're being supported through this. There's no hurry. No one gets a special medal for doing this fast. In fact, if you try to move through it too fast, you're often brought back to it, okay? So I feel like for some of you guys, this is like a final push before the big breakthrough happens. And we talked about that. That's a, that's a breakthrough moment there where things start to really turn in your favor, where you start to see motion. For some of you guys, it's getting to some kind of monumental point, like you get enough followers to go live, or you get the amount of money you need every month to pay your rent, or you get the job that you need that will lead to another job, or you get the internship, or that person you want to talk to you talks to you, and you're able to uh, negotiate and, and start networking. For, for some of you guys, the, well, for all of you, it's different, okay? This obsessive energy is just being attracted to this magnetic force that's coming around you, and it's why they can't let you go. Um, and that is on them, okay? That is their issue. I don't want you to be distracted by the people who come into your life who get obsessed with you, uh, who seem to linger and cling to your energy. Your energy is shifting and that's going to happen. Um, and they're being attracted to your light, okay? Because it's the same thing that they seek within themselves. It's what they need to go within and find. And it's very inspirational to find people who have that kind of light. They may not be consciously aware of that's why they're so attracted, but on a spiritual level, on a like a mental even or emotional level, they kind of feel it. They know that there's something special about you and that's why they're drawn to you, okay? All right, group three, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys.